welcome to another monthly reads video. Um, this time it's April, yeah. I only read two quite short books this April. Um, they're both from the Rift War Cycle. It's a series that I've been slowly getting through. There's quite a lot of books in it. So if you're familiar with the book Magician, which is one of the big ones behind me, that's the first one in the entire sort of like collection of different series that are that make up the Rift War Cycle. So yeah, I read these two. So the first book that I read this month in the Rift War Cycle was Jimmy the Hand. It's a part of the Legends of the Rift War series, which is basically, it's not really a series, it's just a group of, of novels that the author Raymond E. Weiss wrote with other authors and uh, yeah it was just like a collaborative project that he did. Um, this one focuses on the character of Jimmy and he crops up throughout quite a lot of the early books. You know he's in the original one which is Magician and he's just a thief that does lots of fun stuff. He gets up to all sorts of antics and yeah I, I really enjoyed this. You know it was a really nice to get a little bit of backstory at what he was up to while all these big events were going on elsewhere in the novels and so it was quite nice I enjoyed it it was really well paced and you know it was good this book follows Jimmy as he just as we have last seen him in the first book so this one slots in just after Jimmy's appearance in Magician and it follows him as he has to leave the city and go out to the countryside and he gets embroiled in this sort of missing child um, investigation helping this girl find her little brother Fun little fact, the blurb on the back of this book isn't actually correct. It says that Jimmy goes north to Sark when actually he doesn't. He, he goes to this little village in the south. So yeah, I, I don't know why it says that, but yeah. It's a bit of a different style of life for Jimmy and I really enjoyed that, you know, seeing how many times Jimmy has to blend into different things and pretend to be something he's not and he really loves the fun of it all you know it's that you kind of watch this character grow throughout the series and it's nice to get these little standalone novels where he really gets to shine above all the other characters because he is just a really fun character and he's really well written you know yes there's probably lots of characters in fantasy series exactly like Jimmy but yeah, he's a good character and I really enjoy reading his books, so yeah. As with all the Rift War books, it's got quite a good pace. I mean, it's proper sort of, you know, like Dungeons and Dragons fantasy. So, you know, it's very, very bam, bam, bam with everything happening because that's just the way these books are, but they're really fun to read. It's a great adventure and yeah, lots of twists and turns in it, you know, little mysteries that you want to solve. You know, who's taking the children? Why are they taking the children? You know, is Jimmy going to get involved or is Jimmy just going to be like, no, no, I'm going to try and live a quiet life this time and have some peace and quiet. But yeah, no, he doesn't. He gets involved and he helps out. But of course, he's pretending not to be who he really is. He's trying to help his friends. Overall, I enjoyed this book. I really enjoyed this book. It was really good and this is a load of crap. Oh, there's a nice little map in it as well. There's always a map in all the Rift War books. Some of them actually have two. So the second book that I read in April was Jimmy and the Crawler. It's quite a short novel, you know, it just sort of catches us up on what's happening in between the big novels in this series um it was very fast paced like literally blink and it was i finished it because of how much was happening in such a short space of time again it's another jimmy novel like the other one i kind of thought if i read them both together that would be all his novels then done because the other books aren't necessarily his i read the crondor series which he appears in a lot 
So, yeah, so that means they never read most of Jimmy's big parts in the series now. Um, I enjoyed this. I don't, didn't really enjoy it as much as the other one, just because this, there weren't as many twists and turns in this one. It was very sort of cut and dry what was going to happen. And then, you know, it's, it was kind of like that middle episode you get in a series where they need to kind of forward the plot, but it's not really that great. Um, but yeah, no, I enjoyed it. It was well written and it was enjoyable, just a little short for my liking. And it ended a little bit abruptly. I feel like I may have given myself a spoiler for one of the much later books. So maybe I shouldn't have read this one at this stage. I'm trying to read them in this odd sort of chronological slash release order. So, you know, if as the series started being released in the 1980s and the last one was released, I think, four years ago. So I'm sort of trying to read them chronologically the, in each series, if that makes any sense. So there's a trilogy of three, I'll read that trilogy of three and then I'll read all the other books that were like meant to go in between. And that's kind of what I'm doing, so I think I read this one in the right place but as it was released just before the final trilogy, I'm kind of sitting there thinking maybe I've read it in the wrong place because I feel like I may have just gotten a big spoiler. Maybe I haven't. Maybe maybe that's the the, the glory of reading huge series. Yeah, overall, you know, after the build up throughout the other books to this crawler villain, it, it wasn't kind of the climax that I thought it was going to be. It was quite, you know, different. But then having read what happens in the other books, it kind of makes sense. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. So those are the books that I read in April. Um, let me know what you think. Have you ever read any of the books in the Rift War Cycle? There's quite a lot. I think there's about 30. So, you know, maybe you've read them. And, you know, hopefully I'll be reading a lot more of them. I've already read about nine, I think. Yeah, probably about nine of the books. So, so yeah, I'm getting through the series quite well. So hopefully I will one day finish the series. Or maybe I will never finish it and that's just how this goes <laughs> thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and as always leave any comments below about the riff war cycle or fantasy but yeah thanks for watching so much 